Stephanie Strong. I'm here in California, as most of you know, in LA at a big event called Ignite, having a kick-ass time. Anyway, I flew my bike out with me to be able to ride, and uh, I met Seth. He's got a blog. What's the name of your blog, Seth? Uh, Cycling in the South Bay. Cycling in the South Bay. Check it out. So we're here at Starbucks getting ready to go for a little uh, jaunt. And these guys are ready to put the hammer down, show me what it's like to ride in California. So I've been on the trainer, as most of you know, the last six months because we're in Idaho. It's about two degrees this morning there. So here it's like spring riding. I'm loving it. I watch some of these guys show up and I'm like, wow, it looks like it's uh, time to go for a fat bike ride, but it's really not. So Seth, tell me a little bit about the area and this ride. Okay, I'm not going to be putting any hammer down, other, <laughs> except he said that I will be actually physically laying down a hammer. So I heard you had a wreck or something like that not too long ago, coming yeah. back from that. Yeah. People say you're riding like a rock star. Not true. The rock star's holding the video and the sub rock star is sitting right here. That's Alex Barnes. Hey so Alex. This is the this is the premier ride in Southern California, in my opinion. I mean we've got lots of great rides here. We got some good rides in San Diego, but this ride is really good because it's short, it's fifty miles, you get about five thousand feet of climbing, and you got a couple of regroups, and it's the ride that people show up on to test their fitness and to kind of mark where they are as the, as we get into race season. The ride drops off once race season starts because guys are obviously racing. But here's a quick format on the ride. We roll out, we do a two minute climb, the pace kind of picks up, we do uh, some rollers and then we go for another few minutes, we hit some serious rollers, the pace picks up, people get vomited out the back, the meat grinder starts, and then we hit about an eight minute climb, shreds it down to about 10 people, and then we hit another 10 minute climb and shreds it down to just the stumps and the bloody pieces that are still left. Uh, we regroup there, we come down, we do another big climb, uh, and then we do some rollers and a sprint, and then we do another big climb, and then uh, whatever's left, we regroup and have coffee and tell lies uh, like every other bike ride. Big in the fish country. stories. Absolutely. I was so good, except I, you know, I would have been better, except I. Oh, had my that tires big. were a little flat. I've got this hip problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. Yeah. Right. Totally. I've been on the trainer all year, right? Oh, that's, like, right. That's, that's a good that's one, a though. Problem. That's a pretty good one. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, you guys, hey, I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions, comment below so that we can get to you. Obviously, start following me on Periscope right now. So, at Cycling Strong TV, and uh, you'll see a bunch of Periscopes I'm doing. Have a great time. We'll have a go out there, get some fun in. See you later.